yo, yo, what's up? Good people, conditioning for business, on the grind. Got my brother-in-law working out with me today. <laughs> we out here in the gym, on the treadmill today, getting some things happening. So, wanted to cover one of these things with my good people. You can see I'm on this thing, getting a power walk in. <laughs> <laughs> Stop telling people I got a pimple. He's right here, guys. Oh, give me oh, oh. Man down, man down. <laughs> So here's the deal. I want to discuss a few things about this treadmill is going. <laughs> Making a move. So I want to discuss a couple of things in regards to people standing by their word in commerce today. Okay? As you're out here and people are repeatedly offering you situations, offering you transactions, or whatever have you. For whatever reason, I think you run into a situation where some people are out to obviously improve their own uh, financial and commercial situation, but you run into a lot of people that sometimes place the cart before the horse, um, especially the people who don't really understand the uh, complacency, or that, sorry, the complacency that they actually try to lay at your, at your foot. Uh, there's so many different areas of uh, knowledge that you have to uh, partake in in order to be specialist in what you do. So an education is highly, highly uh, required in order to be successful at the highest degree. With people, with the transactions that have come to you, all these things that you're doing, you must have a high degree of understanding of what you're doing. Okay, so what ends up happening is some of these people don't have that degree of understanding and that level of, uh, <laughs> I want to say just, uh, just, just not understanding what they're doing tend to place you in a situation where you have to take time out of your schedule to educate them, which is something that I I personally can't stand it, but <laughs> uh, I see it this way. When you're working out here with these people, if you're going to be in any level of organizational enterprise, you need to understand what you're doing. You need to understand what business that you're involved in. You need to understand the, the different levels of uh, required knowledge in order for your success to be what it's supposed to be. And when you basically lay at the foot people, when you lay at the foot uh, your own personal uh, mental debacle to something that you don't get, or you're trying to figure out the business as you go around, you're impeding <laughs> the level of progression of a person that already knows what they're doing. And I'm not saying you're supposed to know everything, uh, but offline you're supposed to educate yourself. Don't educate yourself uh, online in the middle of a transaction or in the middle of a proposal because you're gonna come off as a person that don't, that really doesn't know what they're doing. And that's gonna rub people the wrong way. You're gonna look very incompetent. You're gonna look like you're feeling around in the dark, something that doesn't exist. And you're gonna come across like a noob, someone that has never done a deal before, okay? So what I tell the people out there who don't have the degree of understanding and capability, what you must do is when you're not doing your business, Educate yourself, study, uh, have roundtable discussions with your mental groups and things like that. Um, do surveys, talk to the people out there who need the service. Learn more about what you're trying to accomplish. Learn more from the people who are cemented in the area of business that you're trying to ingratiate yourself in. Connect with those people, learn off hours. And then when you come back online, you know what you need to know in order to take your business to another level, okay? So you should understand these things at another degree of certainty, and people will, they will basically connect to that. They'll, they'll, they'll eat off of that. People like to connect to energy, people that know what they're doing. So if you know what you're doing, people can feel that, and they want to be in business with people that know what they're doing. They don't want to be in the middle of a transaction, find out you don't know what you're doing. You just wasted all of their precious time, their resources, and their energy, and sometimes their finances. People don't like that, okay? Real business people don't like that. Don't be one of those people, okay? Number two, 
don't be one of those people that plays the cart before horse. If you don't know what you're doing out there in commerce, take the time, like I said before, and learn it, and let them lead you. Let the professionals or the experts lead you. If you don't know what you have going on, don't insinuate things that will uh, basically put a stumbling block or a roadblock in front of the professional. You need to follow the professional, okay? In essence, bring the transaction, make the introductions, and step to the side, okay? That is how you get the transaction closed. Don't be the guy who's trying to beat everything and do everything. Don't be that guy. Be the person who wants to learn, wants success, wants to get a closing, but be realistic enough to understand that you can't know what you don't know until it's time for you to know what you don't know. Okay? Share your uh, non-information. Okay? Go! <laughs> Try to remain upright if you can. <laughs> Try to remain upright. <laughs> Look at the little one of the bunch. <laughs> Try to remain upright. Tiana. Try to remain upright. <laughs> oh snap. Wipe out. <laughs> Wipe out. <laughs> What's wrong, sugar? Yeah, who at all? I can still see you. <laughs> All right, good people, so I had to switch machines. <laughs> now I'm on the uh, bike. Getting the bike done, so it's kind of cut off on the last thing I was gonna talk about while well, I was actually in the middle of closing, but what I was saying for the people out there, uh, don't be these people who stand in the way of progress. You be progress with your own personal uh, arrogance and things like that. You have to understand that you're not supposed to know everything at every time. Uh, you learn in increments, and it's natural that your brain uh, deletes information that it doesn't need, and it retains it retains knowledge that it finds useful. Okay, but most people don't understand how the mind works. They try to do or understand everything, and they try to do everything. Some people have better talents than others. Everyone can't be LeBron and dunk from the free throw line. Some people can't hit a line drive, 280-yard uh, line drive off the tee like Tiger Woods. Every, everyone's not that. Everyone's not Bill Mickelson. Everyone's not Lord Mayweather. You can't knock people out when you want to. Some people have to find their own skill set, whether it's an art dealer or an auto manufacturer or even the best janitor you can find that can wipe a window or clean a set of windows better than anyone in the world. And there are tactics on how these guys do that, to be honest with you. But ultimately, I say all that to say this. Um, everyone has specific skill set. And the special people out there recognize that they are not everything. And they can't be everything. They can only be what they are. Okay? And it's up to you to understand that you are going to be what you are placed here to be. And that's good at what you're supposed to be good at. And what that requires is you taking advantage of the skill set that you have, being the strongest at what you do, based on how you do it, and um, basically uh, relaying that skill set to other people in other situations to benefit everyone involved in the transaction. Okay? So never put the cart before the horse. Never be one of these people that think they know something about a transaction that they don't know. And in the end, you end up looking stupid when it all surfaces in your face because you're expecting something. A lot of the times, you expect things that you haven't paid for, relationships you haven't earned, uh, contracts you haven't earned, uh, transactions that you haven't earned. Uh, it's, a, it's a huge entitlement complex that's going on out in the world today. Uh, people who don't earn or uh, 
uh, deserve what they're getting their hands on for whatever reason they believe they're entitled to it, and they're not. And so this is what a lot of us are actually running into, the seasoned professionals that understand the business, understand the, the way that commerce actually plays out from start to finish. Uh, we run into a lot of situations where this is not the case with some people other than the people who know what the situation in the landscape actually looks like. Okay? So, in essence, if you, uh, as a professional, taking the bull by the horns and executing appropriately, uh, you must... Uh, <laughs> Don't don't be the people who people run from in a transaction. People that get their calls ignored. <laughs> These are the people I'm talking about. You don't want to be that person. You don't want to be the guy that gets his calls ignored, the guy that gets ran from, the guy that gets hung up on and things like that. Calls just mysteriously drop out of the sky. You don't want to be that person, okay? You want to be the kind of guy that people revere. You want people to contact you and reach out to you appreciate themselves with you and all of the above. <laughs> this is what you're looking for, okay? Uh, but in order to arrive at that conclusion, one must be realistic with himself or herself to get to that position, okay? So this is what you want. This is what you want to be. All right? So, my good people, it's a pleasure always educating you all and speaking with you all. Um, beginning to uh, learn who you are and, you know, taking the bull by the horns and handling business, right? So take it, people, for what it is, learn from your mistakes, get stronger, get better, get wise, get more reverent, get special, okay? Take 2020 by the horns. It's like a couple of days after Christmas right now, so everybody's just getting back into the flow of things. This is your time to do that. Become a real business person. Become an innovator, not a perpetrator. Okay. Thank you guys very much for listening. Like, share, subscribe. Put it down. Peace.